This is Cadman Cave, Alberta's biggest bat cave. And I'm being extra quiet because there's clusters of bats just above my head. We've been offered a rare glimpse inside Cadman today. But first, let me tell you a little bit more about how we got here and why we're here. Cadman Cave is the largest known hibernaculum in the province. Hundreds of bats spend their winters inside this cave, slumbering on its limestone walls. It's rare for humans to enter. Only researchers can enter Cadman now, and they do so only once a year and quietly. Each winter season, biologists with cavers in tow trek up the mountainside. And once snowshoes are swapped for cave suits, they slip inside the mouth of the cave to conduct an annual census, all to see how many bats are sleeping inside below the surface. But Cadaman is among the largest caves in the Canadian Rockies, and it's a labyrinth. Bats are elusive creatures, so tracking them does require some twists and turns and scrambles through passageways like this one. We're now in a part of Cadaman known as the Turbine Passage, one of the tightest squeezes we'll face today as we take part in this annual bat count to keep track of the population here and the health of the population across the province. Bats are usually the only residents of this dark maze. The cave has been closed to the public since 2010 to protect against the threat of white nose syndrome, which has devastated bat populations across North America. Caused by a white fungus, it spreads from bat to bat, causing them to wake early from hibernation and starve. It spread rapidly westward for years, nearly wiping out infected colonies. The bats wake up in the middle of winter and there's no food, so basically they starve to death. Evidence of the fungus has been found in Alberta, putting cadmium at risk. Those that care for its colonies are bracing for the worst. We've known that it was going to come to Alberta, and we knew we would detect it first in the southeast because it had been detected in Saskatchewan, and that's the way it's been moving. And it's, it's really only a matter of time. So we do think it's going to affect all areas of Alberta, most likely. The hope is it may not affect the bats as badly. The bat count at Cadman is considered critical to tracking the threat. Such counts have been happening for years, and the science of it is straightforward. Clusters of bats, illuminated by lamplight, are counted one by one. As we move deeper into the cave, only a select few are woken from sleep and swabbed for samples. I'm sorry. We've reached an area of Cadman Cave known as the Mess Hall. It's the most cavernous part of Cadman, and the furthest below ground will go today. Even here, so deep in the cave, you can see behind me in this massive chamber, you can still find tiny clusters of bats all across the limestone ceiling. Even this deep below the earth, this darkness and its residents are familiar for some. I've started coming into the cave in the early 80s, and I've been coming in almost every year since then. Bats are a thing for me, so. <laughs> Hobson says the population of Cadman has thrived since the cave was closed to the public, and he hopes somehow this critical refuge will be spared the worst. We do expect the fungus to get here in time. What we don't really know is the impact the fungus will have in caves in Alberta. We know that the fungus does really well at plus 10. That's a perfect temperature for them. They don't do as well, they don't grow as quickly in these kind of temperatures that we have in this cave. So we do have the hope that it won't have the kind of devastating, you know, 90 plus mortality rate that you know, we've seen down east. Um, but we don't know until it gets here. And there are reasons to hope. Elsewhere, bats hit by white nose syndrome have begun to show signs of natural resistance and recovery. And keeping cadmium closed is expected to help the bats that can survive slowly recover from any losses to come. This year's count found 1,600 bats and no signs of disease or decline. But researchers will be keeping a close watch. Their hope is that next winter, Cadman will again prove a healthy refuge for bats to sleep in peace 
and wait to be carefully counted again. Wallace Snowden, CBC News, Kataman.